Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an amazing hair growth spray that you can certainly incorporate into your hair regimen for your hair to grow longer, thicker and healthier. Now, if you're interested, be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, before we dive into it, guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. If it's your first time here, I'm Vanessa. I make natural your hair videos so consider subscribing if you like to see this kind of content so let's hop right into it guys we are going to need fenugreek seeds now fenugreek seeds are great for hair growth guys because they are a rich source of iron and protein and these are essential nutrients for hair growth which is actually really good and also it contains um, other types of uh, compounds including flavonoid uh, which are known to induce hair growth due to their anti-inflammatory properties. So pour the fenugreek seed in a bowl and then add some hot water and then set it aside. Now our next ingredient will be some uh, hibiscus leaves. Now the one that I'm using are dry hibiscus. I got this from my Afro-Caribbean food store but you can find this on Amazon. I've got a link for you in my description box if you want to get it. Now hibiscus is also great guys because it stops hair loss. It makes your hair look healthier and shiny also prevents premature growing thickens hair and adds volume it treats downdraft it conditions against freeze dryness and breakage and it also prevents split ends which are really amazing benefits altogether so again pour some hot water on that and then let it sit for a few minutes now the reason why i'm using hot water is just to make this process a little bit quicker you could use cold water as well if you want to and just you know leave it for maybe a couple of hours for it to infuse properly um but if you want it a bit quicker definitely pour some hot water on it just like i did here now our next ingredient will be some aloe vera you guys know how much i love aloe vera you're probably tired of you know hearing me talk about aloe vera on this channel uh but yeah we are still going to be using it guys because the uh, benefits of aloe vera for our hair are just amazing so i'm using just a small piece of it here but you can use more if you want to it just depends on you know how much you're trying to make so make sure you wash this nicely and then cut it in the middle remove you know the gel actually not the gel the flesh of the aloe vera because this is what we're going to need to make um the aloe vera juice now if you've got the juice from the store that's absolutely fine or even the gel as well you know you can also use that for this recipe but because i'm making mine from scratch i'm gonna have to blend it so if it's just i mean if you're doing yours just like i am pop it in a blender and blend it for a few minutes thank you so much for the amazing tip that somebody left me in my last video about having to blend the aloe vera a little bit longer to be able to get it you know liquid because i was wondering why sometimes i get a liquid form sometimes i get like a a jelly kind of consistency so thank you so much that actually really worked um so thank you if you're watching so yeah after you've blended your aloe vera guys you now want to go and strain it so you pop it on a sieve just like i'm doing here and allow it to drain naturally on its own or if you want you can actually use a tea towel or a stocking cap or anything that you've got to strain this so that's me done after straining it you can see i've got some pop you left in the sieve that's what would have gone in your hair if it did not strain so now we're going to go ahead and strain the fenugreek seeds so you know this is ready when the fenugreek seeds have doubled in size so just go ahead and strain that as well into the same bowl that you have your aloe vera juice and then we're going to go in with our uh, hibiscus mixture as well so combine all of that in together now you can actually keep these seeds as well if you want to to use in another diy um so you can do whatever you want to do with it i've got a video on my channel where i make fenugreek and hibiscus hair mask so this is actually really good to be used for that if you want to so don't don't throw it away pretty much um, so that's pretty much it nice and mixed together now we're now going to go in with some essential oils now essential oils have amazing properties for hair growth as well guys um, the one that I will be using today will be some uh, what's it called rosemary uh, essential oil now rosemary essential oil has actually not actually essential oil rosemary in general has been proven 
to uh, stimulate the hair follicles and actually um, cause our hair to grow. Um, so there's definitely scientific evidence to suggest that you know rosemary oil can help you know in promoting healthy hair growth. So I added about seven uh, drops. You can add more of this if you want to. And then I'm going in with my tea tree essential oil. Now tea tree essential oil also is good, guys. It has antibacterial properties and also improves the blood circulation around the scalp area which certainly is a good thing to help you know promote healthy hair growth now the final um essential oil would be peppermint essential oil and again they have the same kind of effect that the other essential oils have now these are not compulsory guys you can completely skip the essential oil process if you don't have it uh, but if you do definitely use it and also if you don't have these particular types of essential oils that's fine you can use any other type of essential oil that you've got it's worth incorporating essential oils into your uh, regimen because you know of the amazing um, benefits for hair growth so it's definitely worth perhaps getting your hands on them I've got links in my description box if you want to purchase them so mix everything together and then I'm now going to transfer this into my spray bottle so that it's easier for me to use. I just transferred that into a glass just to make the process a bit easier. Um, so you pop that in your spray bottle and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid on and we're pretty much ready to use it. So we're pretty much ready to apply this now guys. I'm applying it on my hair. I have at the moment Conroe's but if your hair is twisted, you've got braids, like anything really, like you can still apply this as long as you can reach your scalp. Um, I'll suggest that if you're applying this, you apply it directly to your scalp because our hair grows from our scalp and if you're trying to rip the benefits like the hair growth benefits of this you know um spray it's definitely worth applying it to your scalp now i know you probably will be wondering should i wash this you know afterwards yes you can actually wash this the next day if you want to or you could leave it in as well it's not really um going to cause any issues at all now one thing that i found is that it smells you know the smell might be a little bit too strong i think it's because of the essential oil so if you don't like the smell it's probably worth just washing it in the morning um so you can use it as an overnight kind of spray if you want to or you can leave it in as well it's entirely up to you i'm applying this to my hair here guys but i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair the next day because i don't want to walk around you know smelling um some kind of really strong smell i think it's a fenugreek that kind of makes it not smell so good if you guys have any tips or any tricks on how to use fenugreek without having to deal with the smell please let me know in the comment section below i would definitely appreciate it i love using fenugreek but sometimes the smell is a bit overpowering so let me know if you guys have any ideas like any tips on how to make it smell less or smell better um so yeah apply this to your scalp guys make sure that you cover your entire scalp massage that in nicely also apply it to your edges you know um if you're trying to grow them edges definitely apply them there as well this is actually a really great moisturizer as well as you know um you know uh, the fact that it has some amazing you know um, hair growth properties as well that you don't want to miss out on so make sure that your whole hair is covered and then after you do that guys you're now going to go ahead and massage your scalp as well so massage that in nicely scalp massages just helps improve blood circulation around your scalp area and basically provides it with some amazing uh, nutrients that you know your scalp needs in order for your hair to grow so scalp massages are great 
I'm just applying that at the back of my hair as well just making sure everything is covered now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my ends again just so they're nice and moisturized so apply it throughout your entire head pretty much and then we'll be pretty much good to go So this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you made it till the end of the video thank you so much for that also don't forget to thumbs up the video guys if you liked it and you would like to see more also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed leave me a comment i do read them all and i'll certainly answer them so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video bye